I mean, if we just look at the sheer size of things, this is nice. Hmm. Let's learn a few phrases. We're definitely going to get stressed. Oh, nothing happened. Good enough. But just look at the sheer, sheer size. We're cutting all across the world here. I still don't know how this happened. But it's okay. At a festive outing in the wild, I found a message surrounded by wildflowers in my tent. It says that to meet Queen Athene by the stream alone. How exciting. Are you any good? Surrounded by the poop, lustful, you're a bit slow. No, thank you. A merry gathering. It is the night of my feast, and Boreas have come from far and wide. The word must have spread, because there are far more guests than expected. Luckily, with Idun's help, I managed to make room for everybody. And after raiding the stores, there's enough food and wine to go around. Music is jolly, the spirits are high, and laughter echoes in my halls. Halfway through the dinner, I stand up and hold my speech. At first, I'm nervous, but when I see the forever light up in the guest's eyes, my confidence rises. I deliver the best and most passionate speech of my life. At the end of it, the crowd stands up, howling and applauding. I look to, your, to my right, where Udun is seated. She is beaming at me. It seems like I have my fellowship. I have successfully completed her first quest. And we gain the trait Gregarious. And we are a promising student. Good. Oh, how exciting this is. Good that we currently can't move anywhere, politically and militarily speaking. So we don't get a chance to muck this opportunity up. I like Regarius, this is one of my favorite traits. Gives diplomacy, vassal opinion, same trait opinion. It's just all around good. Nothing bad about it. Not a single thing. Crusader is cool too. After helping them see the light of the Catholic faith, the people of Silesia and their Duke have often been in my thoughts. Perhaps visiting the Duke may help improve relationships. Now, I have no time for this. I am on a much larger and more important quest at the moment. I'm sure the next step will be expensive as well. So let's save up. Blessed has passed. They still have not hired any children. Why is this? Are you a Kinslayer? My dear boy. What have you done? It will not happen. I will not be seduced. We will not hunt on church land. I'm just waiting for the immortality quest line to keep going. How do you not have any children yet?
If you zoom really far out, you hear the wind. <laughs> An obstacle in my path. Ever since Idun announced that the time for the search was nigh, I've been busy with preparations. The warriors are equipped, the provisions gathered, and the best horses procured. Yesterday, I finally set out on my quest. Idun has led my fellowship deeper and deeper into the wilderness. The trail which we follow is barely visible in the thick underbrush, but Idun seems certain that this is the right part. The trail begins to slope upwards. Within a few hours, we are trudging up a narrow mountain path. The trail makes a sharp turn, and as, you pass it, as I pass it, I spot an obstacle overhead. There has been a rock fall, and boulders are blocking the path. Idun insists that this trail is the only way forward. Alright. Hmm. We must make haste. We'll shift the biggest boulder and the rest will follow. Let's see what happens. Sweat and blood. I cannot do this without my fierce followers. However, they seem doubtful, so I attempt to raise their spirits and lead by example. I call out and draw their attention and proceed to inform them of my plan. While I do so, I pick up a decently sized boulder and begin to shift it. At least I attempt to, however, it does not move an inch. My companions oh, seem convinced that I buckle down and really give it all. I've got embarrassingly a call for help. This is less than inspiring. No. Oh. We become frail and depressed. It was not meant to be. Should have picked the safer option. Ah, well. I've never gotten this far, I don't think. <laughs> so now we can uh, go and just build things. Because we don't need to save gold anymore for immortality. We can usurp the Sultanate of Sicily. Let's do that. And we shall... Up, 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 um, where is the Sultanate of Sicily, please? Let's get this on Primo Genitour. And let's grant it to our dear son. Kingdom of Sicily. Have it all. Now we can switch our trade around. Maybe we get Theologian. I would like that. It's an achievement. I've gotten Theologian, but never the achievement, which is a shame. I would like that achievement. Ah, very good. We are now multilingual. Giving us diplomacy and learning bonuses. Great. Come on, give us a grandchild. You. Do your duty as a wife. Oh dear son. Let's have a private conversation with her and find him something younger. He's way too old by now. Oh, I don't get to kill her. Let's try and seduce her. Maybe I can give her a child. What? I catch the glint of steel in the woman's hand. Oh boy. All right, let's uh, try and escape. I feel like yeah, let's try and escape. Ooh. Oh, we barely got away with our life there. Can't I imprison her now? 
She has very much acted dishonorable toward me. If we order to take the vows, shouldn't her marriage break? Okay, we have a valid reason to execute her, so we'll just lose a little bit of piety and now we can find him a new wife. How about it? Oh yeah, very good. Plus she's lustful. Let's have it her. Let's have it be her. Always. Always with that phrase. I'll never manage it. Well, it was quite worth it to get him a better wife. So maybe he gets to reproduce yet. Come on, give us an A. You have this beautiful young wife here. With an elusive shadow. And she's lustful, so that should be fine. Oh, she's breastfeeding a child. So that decreases her... Oh no, Brie? Not Brie. My court physician tells me to drink something. Alright. Let's drink it. And we're no longer depressed. Cool. Probably some super hard drug that's forbidden these days. Do I have to raise my armies myself? Do I? Apparently I do. Apparently I do. So from which county can we go in here without crossing a river? None. The answer is pretty much none. Fighting can be difficult and dangerous. Oh! Alright. Didn't think there was going to be an event like this, but fair enough. Come on, get pregnant. Let's send her an alcoholic gift. Which makes her like us more. That's just great. Is there anyone who doesn't like us as well as they should? Oh no, another crusade against us. Prepare for millions of messages. Oh, everybody likes us. Ah oh no, it's a broken crusade again. I can't click it. I'll have to quit and save. Then I might click it. Ah, we're making friends left and right. Our kinsman would like a job in the council. Well, we just inherited a kingdom there. Where was he? There. Okay. So, what kingdom did you inherit? Kingdom of Aquitaine. Hmm. Kingdom of Aquitaine. What is the jour art of Aquitaine? All that. That's fine if you can't have a blood relative down here somewhere. No? Well, a single blood relative. Are you part of Aquitaine? I believe you are. How unfortunate for you. I would like to have this county, thank you. Goodbye. 
And I would like to give this county to someone in my family. Hmm. She only has a daughter. Only daughters. Son. I'm sure we have some relations here. Him. Ah, he's of Austrasia. He has a hair lip, but he's ambitious and gregarious, so he'll do fine. So let's get you a wife. Now you find yourself a wife. Have him have the county of Bourbon on all the lower tier titles too. And now, how about you have the kingdom of Aquitaine? Let's just let's just give it fully. We don't need this to be in our hand eventually again. That's fine. So you would like a seat on the council, eh? You can be our steward because you're good at stewardship. Castle Town was built in our newest little holding. Let's upgrade what gives us money first. And build yet another castle. This is definitely the strongest primary holding I've ever had. No doubt about that. Ghost Crusade. Oh yeah, let's create some kingdoms. Or not. Titles are well decided around, that's fine. We'll end up with plenty of... ...weird people we don't really want. No cupbearer, no Zeneschal, no royal custodian, should give plus five, doesn't it? Yeah, and prestige, so it shall be our own son, so he gets the prestige. Go away. I'm married and happily so. Let's check our son's bedchamber. Get pregnant, woman. Do it. Oh, he wants to groom an heir, so that's good. He's, he's hunting, that's not great. Additional funds for our spy master, yes. Have the funds can afford it. Those are weird borders down here. France, Australia. This is all a little bit weird. <laughs> Alba, Austrasia, France, all mixed up. Italy has holdings in Ireland? Okay. Ah. Our son loves us now. I was going to say that at least Italy is a cohesive thing, but nope. There's pieces that are not Italy. I'm so fascinated by the papacy doing this. I really am.
All right, we've done quite a bit. We're kind of walking towards the end of our life here. He's been splashing soap on the floors. Well, we almost got wounded, but only almost. And I think that Emperor Male Colium, Colium will not really go down in history books. Though he is fairly prestigious and pious. He has done a few good things in his life, I'm sure. But we'll learn all about that upon his death. Which will inevitably come now that he has failed his little quest there.